Hi, this is not your average guy on the Never Mind Your Own YouTube channel. And we're going to discuss today what you should buy. The Phantom 4 or the newly released drone from GoPro called Karma. You gotta understand there is a drone war going on. Not like with the Pentagon and Predators and stuff like this, but in the hobby market. Because before there was a Phantom 4, it will not surprise you, there was a Phantom 1, 2 and 3. And the first Phantoms used GoPros as cameras. And then DJI decided to put their own cameras on the drones. So GoPro was bye bye GoPro. And GoPro decided to take matters into their own hands and not being dependent on Chinese drone manufacturers and they made their own drone and they just released it and it's called Karma. So what I want to do, I want to make a comparison. Should you buy the Phantom 4, the latest, best, newest drone from DDI? Or should you buy the GoPro one, the Karma one? First thing, what is very, very nice about the Karma is you got everything in one. You got the drone, you got a gimbal, a handheld gimbal, and you got the camera. And, and you can just use it seamlessly you know now I have a Phantom 4 I have a separate handheld gimbal and I have a GoPro camera and with this Karma system it's all in one and what's good about this system is it is like half the size of my Phantom 4 so the case is much smaller the drone is foldable you can easily carry this you can put it in your suitcase if you want to travel by air that is just a very big plus I think the price is a little bit similar the drone is like eight and a half and then you still need a GoPro camera like 500 euros so it's it's a little bit similar price as a Phantom 4 but you do not need to buy a separate gimbal handheld gimbal it comes with the Karma so basically it's cheaper and there's another very good thing about the Karma and that is you will not have the skipping frames problem that DJI has with their camera system whatever I don't know why you know and that is if you shoot in 4k then after nine minutes you have like four gigabytes of data and the system needs to write a new file and when doing this it skips some frames so if you are in the middle of a shot you know and it starts to write a new file you you're losing some frames and when you stitch them together it's like you have a jump in your footage and that is just really bad about the Phantom 4 and with the GoPro no problem never was a problem you can just do this so very big plus for Karma the flight time Karma says it has a flight time of about 20 minutes the Phantom 4, it, they say it is like 28 minutes. So you have more fly time with the Phantom, officially. You know, but practically you can fly with the Phantom like 20 minutes, 21 minutes, and then, then you got it. So I think with the Karma, it will not be like 20 minutes. It's more like maybe 15, 16 minutes that you can fly. So you don't have as much fly time as with the Phantom. But, you know, if you want to make a shot and you know what you want to do, 15 to 20 minutes is, is more than enough. You, it, it's, it's very good. You can take the shots that you want. It will be no big problem. Another good thing about the Karma is it has a, an integrated 
flight controller with a screen so you do not need to buy a separate tablet or use your phone for this I had to buy a separate tablet because I don't want to use my phone for this so it saves some more money and you have one complete system with the Karma which is very good on the other hand if for for somebody like me I want to capture what I see on the tablet because I want to use this and make videos of this and with the GoPro Karma it's like a closed system it's one big system and it's not easy to get in or get something out of it it's just what what you have is what you get and I don't think you can change a lot probably in the future there will come some hacks maybe or some upgrades and stuff like that but right now you cannot do a lot with it and that brings us to another point uh, the DJI transmitter there is an, an upgrade a module you can you can put it on the back of the transmitter and you have an HDMI output and that is very important you need this if you want to use goggles like I do and I think it's good to use goggles because um, the goggles don't give you latency it's not lagging it's not like the, the, the image that you see on your tablet uh, it's, it's like a fraction of, of a sec second like half a second I don't know exactly how much but it's it's lagging behind what the, the footage is seeing imagine driving a car and you will have to look through the window but the window shows you everything half a second later than what is really happening what what's gonna happen is you're gonna drive really slowly you know and you cannot maneuver very well because you never know what's coming and with the goggles this is like more more like real time it's quicker so it means you can fly easier better with the goggles and the karma system it's just it's a closed system you have a screen and I don't know yet how they do this if if the, what the screen is showing you if if it's lagging a lot or not like with the phantom uh, we can only find out by testing this unfortunately I don't have a test model and I don't have money to buy one my channel is not big enough for this yet but that is something you know I, th I think you have to find out if this is important for you make sure how it is one very big plus for the Phantom the Phantom 4 is that it has sensors up front and down and it has a collision protection system you can just fly into a tree and then it stops if you're flying in positioning mode in the normal positioning mode you have this protection well I'm sure the Karma does not have this it does not have sensors around so it means with the Karma if you don't watch what you're doing if you're making a mistake you can easily fly into something and this is a big thing for the Phantom 4 it's it's the Phantom 4 is safer to fly it's easier to fly you cannot easily make big mistakes and if you make big mistakes even then you might still be safe because of this uh, sensors that that gives the Phantom awareness around where it is and the Karma does not have this then there is this thing about uh, Phantom 4 that um, every every user runs into and that is the horizon problem you know uh, you you can calibrate the machine what you want you know but there's always a little bit like you're turning around you're flying five minutes and then the horizon is like more or less like this I, I really wonder how the Karma will be doing this you'll have to test this there's no way in telling right now uh, how this is gonna be but it would be something I would really want to know if uh, if GoPro uh, will do a better job than uh, than DJI uh, with this then there is another thing about Karma and that is 
it's a new product from a company who has never made this before. It means there might be bugs, there might be this, there might be that. You know, the Phantom 4 is the 4 small. It's already on the market for years. It's an improved product. It's like, you know, there are issues with it, but I, I really wonder how GoPro will do this. And it took a lot of time for them to, to release the drone. And, um, well, now it's here, but I'm sure there will be issues with this. So if, if you want to go for a Karma, uh, be prepared that you will find some issues with it, like they had with the Phantom in the beginning too. Well, these are some of the important things that I was able to find out about the Karma in comparison with the Phantom 4. I hope it helps you out to make a decision what you want to do. Give me any comment if you have something, you know, let me know and maybe we will make a new video about this. Thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up if you liked it and see you on the next video.